Hello, I am back with another video. I really wanted to film this one and get it up because a lot of the items I will be mentioning in this favorites video are currently on the Black Friday sales. So grab yourself a pen and paper, grab yourself a drink, get comfortable. And I'm hoping by the end of this video, you will have a nice little list of either gift ideas to purchase for other people or for yourself. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it because I will be running through fashion, beauty and lifestyle. And I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm going to start off with some fashion pieces because I feel like lately I haven't spoken much about my capsule wardrobe. However, there are some real standouts as to what I have worn throughout 2023, both in winter and in summer. And I really wanted to mention them today. So I'm going to start off with some jewelry pieces. One of my all time favorite jewelry brands, Linya, is kindly sponsoring this part of today's video. Now I wear my Linya pearl earrings and these little sleepers every single day. I do not take them off. So when I chose some pieces for this video, I wanted to think specifically about gifting and give you guys a few different options, especially if you're not someone who wears gold and you're more into silver. So the first is this beautiful twist sterling silver ring. I believe it's called the Dagmar ring. And the reason I went with this one is because I wanted some silver pieces that I could pair with my existing gold jewelry because I'm really loving two-tone. I don't think I will ever wear all silver just because my engagement ring is gold and some of my everyday pieces are gold. However, I am loving two-tone, especially as it gets warmer here. I feel like silver is a real summery color and it really brightens up an outfit. So I'm loving just stacking in some additional little silver pieces. So I thought that one would be a great one. And for those of you who have anyone who wears exclusively silver, there are so many beautiful pieces on Linnea's website. I also went for a pearl necklace. So as you guys know, I love pearls. I've really been loving them lately. Again, I think I'm very influenced by the seasons and seeing as it is summer here in Australia, I've just loved wearing my pearl earrings. And I thought that this necklace would go really well with those as an everyday piece. So the actual chain on the back of this and the clasp is sterling silver, so recycled sterling silver. However, because it is a all pearl necklace, whether someone wears silver, whether someone wears gold, I feel like this would be a great little piece because again, there's not much hardware at all. So that one really brightens up this outfit. It goes really nicely with my earrings and I can see this being quite an everyday piece. It's very comfortable, very lightweight. And one of the most exciting things that I wanted to share with you, because it is my first jewelry case from Linya, I have been eyeing them off for so long and I mentioned it in my recent gift guide video. I hadn't actually owned one myself, but I saw it on their website and I thought, you know what, that would be such a great gift because I often get asked, what is the um, best travel makeup case that you use? What is the best travel um, jewelry case? And previously I've just thrown it all into like a little drawstring bag. So when I saw this on Linya's website, I straight away had to get it because it is so affordable. It's this beautiful leather zippy case. And once you open it, you have an area here for rings and then this area you can put your necklaces and earrings. I really love how compact it is. For me, this is the perfect size. When I am traveling, I don't take much more jewelry than this. It's usually just a couple of statement pieces if I was to head out for dinner or anything when I am on holiday. So I thought this was really cute. I believe right now it's on sale for $17. So very affordable. And from my recent gift guide, this out of every item I mentioned, this was the most clicked and most purchased item. And I can see people are still purchasing them now. So thank you so much, Linya. Your pieces are definitely part of my 2023 favorites. And I am just so glad I was able to get my hands on one of these little cuties. Can you guys see Remy there? Look at her. She's got a little piggy. My sister bought her this little pig and this would be her 2023 favorite for sure. Luckily, the little squeaker inside broke. Thank God for that. It was so loud with that piggy sound and she just played with it all day, every day. So now that the squeaker's broken, she still plays with it, but it's just not so annoying. So she's just made herself comfortable here on top of all of my clothes. So the first piece of clothing I wanted to mention, one of my most worn pieces for 2023 and they are some little bike shorts from Cotton On actually. Now in particular, it's the color for me. The chocolate brown bike shorts, I feel like they look so nice with oversized baggy t-shirts. And this year was the year for me to steer away from black and white from my wardrobe. So I really delved into my chocolate browns and my greens and my grays and I've really enjoyed it. And I just, if you have some active wear on your wish list currently, 
do not look past chocolate brown. I know we saw it a lot in over the past year, but it really is such a great color. And I just found the color paired seamlessly with the rest of my wardrobe. So these were the little pair of white sneakers, an oversized t-shirt and some little white crew socks with my Uniqlo crossbody bag. That was an outfit, pretty much a uniform that I lived in throughout the year. So I had to mention those. The next item of clothing is of course my Levi ribcage jeans. You guys are probably sick to death of these jeans. I have them in the dark blue, the black and the white. And for me, these throughout autumn, winter were absolutely amazing. And if you are someone who is looking to create more of a capsule wardrobe and you're just looking for a good basic high-waisted jean that a straight leg, do not go past the Levi ribcage jeans. So every single pair I've bought, I've purchased from Depop and I've got them at such a great price. If you are in the cooler months, definitely buy yourself some Levi ribcage jeans. I'm for sure they would be on sale somewhere. I will try and link some below. Again, for those of you heading into cooler months, get yourself a gray sweater. I saw these everywhere. This one I purchased from Perfect Stranger. And the reason why I opted for this one, it's actually a couple of sizes too big for me, but I wanted something really oversized, really slouchy and comfortable. And the reason I opted for this one is the color was perfect. I didn't want something too cool gray and I didn't want something charcoal. I wanted something in between. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of gray sweaters all over Pinterest and on Instagram. It's definitely a trending color this autumn winter. And I just wore it over top of dresses. I wore it with jeans. I wore it honestly just so much to the point it started to get really bobbly. I had to get my debobbler out quite a few times. Perfect Stranger, I wouldn't say it's bad i don't know what the fabric of this is it's a fast fashion store so i was aware that it might not yeah so it's all polyester there's only six percent wool so if i had my time over i would probably go on the hunt for a sweater just like this maybe in a wool or something a little um longer lasting because i just feel like once i debubble this i'll try and get another winter out of it but we'll see how i go now moving on a basic tea you guys i've mentioned the cos teas multiple times before i think everyone knows them as a great basic tea i have it in black navy and white in particular i wear the white and the navy the most more so than the black i think this is black i really can't tell when they're on their own um, but yeah, such a great quality tea. They wash really well. They're a really thick material. Had to give a shout out for the COS basic teas. I believe COS is having 20% off site-wide during their Black Friday sale. So I will link these below. They're called the Clean Cut Tea. Now this coat was a bit of a crowd favorite when I wore it throughout the winter. And I actually received this as a gifted item from Billy J Boutique. And I think it's the color that really got everyone. Every time I posted a photo or a reel in this, everyone would ask where I purchased it from. Now it's no longer available, but I just wanted to talk about uh, trench coats in general. This is my first ever trench coat. I've never owned one before and our winters are very mild here. Um, we hardly even get a winter. So trench coats are great and I just couldn't believe that I'd never really worn them before. I think I struggled with how to style them, but once I realized that you could just throw it over jeans and a top, which is like what I wear pretty much every day to work. And yeah, I just got a lot of wear out of it. And I know this is no longer available on their website, but I just wanted to mention this beautiful olive green color. I will try and see what I can find online. But again, for those of you in the cooler months, if you don't already have a trench coat, you probably already do. Maybe I'm just super far behind, but I just wore it a lot. Very lightweight, very comfortable. It's the comfort for me. And if you are someone that is a blaze up girly and you love to just throw them on over top of outfits and it really pulls an outfit together, then you're going to love a trench coat. Moving on to shoes. I'm trying to get more into my shoes. I am someone that buys a pair of sandals for summer and a pair of sneakers or boots for winter and I just live in them and they go with every outfit, which is why there are three pairs of shoes in front of me. They are all black. Now, a winter favorite were the combat boots. I always saw these on Pinterest and everyone looked so great in them and I was really Really worried about how chunky they were and I know they're not particularly on trend at the moment you know it was a couple of years ago that these first came out but I absolutely loved wearing these in New Zealand it was really cold there it was snowing and these were just so warm so comfortable and they are from the brand um, Elias May and because of the wide toe and the just the general wideness of the style itself they were so comfortable and I just felt like I just was not reaching for any of my other leather boots. You know the standard, are they called Adelaide boots? That style where it's more of a pointed toe and just like a leather slim boot. 
gone are the days where I'm wearing those. I will just reach for these. And then when I'm wanting something a little dressier, I will just go for like a heeled boot. So absolutely love these. $50 purchase from Depop. And I just wore them all winter. They're definitely staying in my wardrobe for next winter. So these sandals I purchased for $90 from Perfect Stranger. And they're from the brand Bellini. They sell, that brand sells across many different platforms. The Iconic is one of them. And these are currently 40% off. So if you're in need of any sandals, they have these in tan. Plus Bellini in general have so many other beautiful sandal styles and I just wore these a lot if you're like me and shoes are a bit of an afterthought and you need some sandals these ones just looked really nice with every outfit and they've just got a little bit of a strap with a buckle to go up your ankle so very very comfortable they're not actually leather and usually I would never opt for a non leather sandal they are holding up really well and I am definitely going to be checking out Bellini on the iconic with their 40% off sale to see what other summer sandals they have on offer. And the last shoes I wanted to mention are these Zara ballet flats. If I hadn't known I was going to wear these as often as I do, I probably would have looked around a little longer and found like a really good quality leather pair. At the time that I bought these, there weren't many ballet flats around. I, when I see something and I think, oh my gosh, that is different, that is cool, it's definitely going to be trending. I bought these almost a year ago, I would say. Um, I always go to Zara because Zara have their finger on the pulse when it comes to new trends. And although I don't like to support big fast fashion brands like Zara, sometimes I will make the odd purchase from there. But I purchased these and I just absolutely love them. They're very comfortable. comfortable. They're in like this beautiful velvet fabric and they've got like a little silver um, jewel here on the side but they're just basic little ballet flats they have the little strap through the middle I'm thinking for the summer I might look around for a little red pair of ballet flats ballet flats I am so glad that they are back in style because I personally really like them because I can wear them um, day to day but I can also wear them to work because they cover your toes so yeah absolutely love these definitely a 2023 favorite of mine now last within the fashion category is handbags now I didn't want to talk too much about handbag favorites because I feel like I want to do a whole separate video on my most used handbags throughout the year what I bought what I sold and just a little bit of a wrap up but I thought I would just mention a couple of my all-time favorites and the ones that I use most this is quite new to my handbag collection but I have not stopped using this and already it's a favorite of 2023 and it is the little um, Longchamp pouch with the top handle my sister saw me wearing this the other day and she's she likes having nice handbags but she's not particularly you know into them or not as much as I am and she was like oh my gosh I really need one of those as well as a Longchamp tote as a nappy bag so yeah I absolutely love this it fits more than the essentials if it's your phone wallet keys lip balm um airpods like everything you would need for a full day and it's just so easy what i love to do is i also like to use it when i'm using the longchamp tote for work because in here i keep like i said all of my essentials that i would need and then the rest of my work stuff would go in here so when i pop out on my lunch break and head down to the shop to grab some lunch or anything i simply just have to grab this um, and it's got everything that I would need. So and that brings me on to this. This is the Longchamp large Le Playage tote in with the shoulder, um, long shoulder strap. And I have just used this so much both for work, for travel. I did recently purchase the medium size in paper. And to be honest, guys, I still keep reaching for this just because without fail, it's going to fit everything that I would need for work and my lunch. Whereas with the medium size, I feel like it fits all my work stuff, but I can't really fit with ease my lunch and my water bottle. So I absolutely love this one. Um, yeah, like I said, I was with my sister the other day and because she is 20 weeks pregnant now, which is so exciting, she is starting to keep her I out for a nappy bag. I am thinking that these are on my sister's wish list for Christmas. I may have to keep my eye out for her to see if I can um, snap up a deal. So I absolutely love those from Longchamp. I went through quite a bit of a Longchamp um, obsession these past couple of months. This is the last handbag I wanted, wanted to mention and it is this beautiful vintage Gucci basket bag. It is a Tom Ford era style and I just had to mention it not so much because I wear it a lot but because this was a 2023 find of the year. Like I absolutely love this style. You can remove the insert. It's such a great little summer bag. It's different. I'd never seen it before 
and you guys seem to love it as well. So I had to mention it because it was one of those bags that I am going to look back and go, 2023 was the year that I stumbled across this bag and added it to my collection. Again, if I ever come across one of these on eBay or just the pre-love market in general, I will be sure to link it over on my Instagram stories. I've created a pre-loved perfection channel, broadcast channel over on my Instagram that I think there's about 40 members in there and we all just post all of our pre-love finds. So if you want to join our little broadcast community, then go ahead to my Instagram and join that little broadcast channel. So they're my handbag favorites. And the last item I wanted to mention is an accessory. And uh, these are the Ray-Ban um, sunglasses in the hexagonal shape. I had to mention these as a favorite because I had these for a couple of years. I then sat on them and they broke. And I didn't have them in my capsule wardrobe for a good probably eight months and I recently purchased them again from Depop for only $70 and I have been wearing them non-stop. I feel like whenever I have these, all of my other sunglasses just don't get worn because they're just so lightweight. They really elevate an outfit because they're like a piece of jewelry for your face and I just love them. So these I know for a fact they are on sale on the Iconic for 30% off, which is a massive saving. So I will link those below. And if you're on the hunt for a new pair of sunglasses, do not go past the Ray-Ban hexagonal ones or just the standard wireframe ones, not the hexagonal ones, but more of the rounded shape. They're great as well. I've owned them before and I absolutely love them. So moving on to beauty, I feel like I can be quite critical with beauty products just because I'm one of those people, once I find something I like, I just stick to it and I don't really change it up much. So to find something that I love and for it to completely replace what I was using before, um, is kind of a big deal. First and foremost, I had to mention my skincare products because the past eight months for me have been such a journey with my skin. You probably haven't noticed it on my YouTube because my breakouts weren't too bad on my face. They were all around under my jawline, jawline and under my ears. I have quite a lot of scarring there. When I wake up in the morning and do my makeup, the first thing I do is put concealer back here because the scarring is quite bad. And I did not know what else to do. I tried exercising more to kind of flush out my skin. I wasn't wearing makeup. I tried every product under the sun. I tried changing my diet. I drank more water. I did everything that everyone said. I was this close to going on Roaccutane. Um, but the only reason I really didn't want to do that is because they say you shouldn't go on Roaccutane um, if you ever, you know, want to fall pregnant. And I'm, I'm not wanting to fall pregnant right now, but I just don't want to take anything where there's that kind of risk. I mean, I'm not on the pill because I'm wanting to get rid of that risk. So why would I want to take Rakutane where it can literally cause deformities to a baby? So I really didn't want to go on Rakutane. I wasn't going to, I was going to suffer with my skin. And my brother's girlfriend mentioned Benzac. And I had forgotten about this. I used this in my teens for my acne and it worked a treat. It was the only thing that cleared up my skin. So I was at this, oh, see what I mean? This is just not focusing. So I was at the chemist, I saw this and she mentioned that that is what she uses to clean up, clear up her skin. So I purchased it. This is all I was using for skincare. I was trying to keep it very, very simple because any research I did, they said simple is best. I used the Bioderma Micellar Water. This is for acne prone skin. I would use that of a evening to just get rid of any kind of makeup residue um, from the day. And then I would use the Cetaphil moisturizer. This moisturizer I use day and night. It's fragrance free. It's basically got nothing bad in it. Um, and just as basic as you can get. So I was using those two. They definitely help with the breakouts that I had, but I was still getting the really deep ones. So once I started using the Benzac, I purchased this in Sydney. So when was that? That was a few weeks ago. My skin has completely cleared up. So the combination of these three products have been an absolute lifesaver for me. I use this to remove my makeup at the end of the day. This is what I use to wash my face with. And then this is the moisturizer that I use. So anyone that is struggling with skin concerns, all I can say is keep it simple. And if you haven't yet tried Benzac, give it a go. It's more, I believe it is for those deeper ones um, that you just cannot seem to get rid of. So I had to mention those because Every other makeup product, it does not matter how good it is, if my skin was bad underneath, it just set me up for a really, oh, it's a struggle. I really feel for anyone who has bad skin because your confidence levels just dip dramatically. So absolutely love those. Now moving on to an all-time favorite, I've mentioned it multiple times before, it is the Revolution Makeup 
juicy pout. I believe it's like their lip oil. I purchased this one from Priceline, I think. And this, I am a lip gloss girly. I wear it every single day. And this is my go-to. If I am looking at a bunch of my lip glosses, this is the first one I grab. I've almost run out and that does not happen often. It's very rare that I go through a full lip gloss. If you're wanting a really nice everyday lip gloss, definitely give it this one a go. It's very affordable. I'll try and link it below. These are the Morphe brushes. I treated myself and got myself all new makeup brushes about six months ago now absolutely love these they're aesthetically beautiful they look really nice in my bathroom in a little jar and what i like about this little pack is it has not there's not too many you only need this many brushes there is a brush for everything that i would need and yeah i've just really been enjoying these they're very soft um, just the way that they're designed with the tapered, they're just really nice and comfortable to use. And yeah, I just really love these. If you are looking to treat yourself this Christmas, yeah, go ahead and purchase yourself some new makeup tools. I feel like we often forget about them. Um, another beauty fave is the Chanel Sublimage Essence de Tint. That is my shocking Australian version of French. Um, but this, I tried a sample of this, absolutely love it. So when I went to the airport and saw duty free, um, and had access to duty free, I straight away went and purchased this and I absolutely love it. It's a BB cream, but better. It applies so nicely. It's a nice dewy finish. So it's definitely a luxury product. It's not something I would usually buy myself. Um, but I purchased it, I think with some birthday money. So if you are looking to um, purchase yourself a bit more of a bougier foundation then this Chanel one is really beautiful especially if you have aging skin because I find that normal foundations can make all of your fine lines um, appear deeper but if you go something that's quite dewy but not too dewy because I'm, I have oily skin so whenever it says dewy I steer clear this is the perfect amount so really really been loving that and then last but definitely not least and probably up there within the top three favorites and it is the wild deodorant and if you guys have used natural deodorant before you do not accept promoting a natural deodorant unless you've tried it first because I have tried pretty much every brand under the sun and none of them work for me so I tried this one I have been using it for the past over a month now absolutely love it it's very smooth um, application and because a lot of the ones that did work for me they were like a putty where you had to rub it in your hands and use it I love this because it's smooth enough that it just glides on under your armpit it smells amazing it's hard to find natural deodorants that smell really nice and what I love most about this is the canister is refillable so this is the little pack that I got it came with three refills and the canister with my name engraved on it I went with purple because purple is like my favorite color and basically you just unclip it put the refill in clip it on and then you can use it and you simply twist the bottom part here to um, you know have the product go up um, that is a terrible description of how to use a deodorant anyway um, here are the refills this is what they look like they smell oh amazing this one here is coconut vanilla this is fresh cotton and sea salt and I just love them like I said guys I do not have to mention this at all they actually just sent it for me to try out but I've been loving it that much that I had to include it in my favorites and this whole box here um, they've got a Black Friday sale on, so I'm not sure what it comes to, but full price, usually, it's $48 for the canister and three refills. So if you're looking to try it natural deodorant, give this brand a go, and it probably would be a nice gift, actually. Seeing as you can customize the little canister, it could be a nice gift. I mean, it's definitely more of a personal kind of gift, gifting someone deodorant, but anyone who loves natural deodorant they are going to love this okay moving on to the final category which is lifestyle i'll try and keep this short and sweet for you guys i had to mention my frank green water bottle i absolutely love this i believe my sister got it for me last christmas and yeah i just use it every single day it has the sippy straw up the top it's not too big and not too small it fits really nicely in my organizers which i use in my bag every single day it slides in there like that and i absolutely love this i did notice on their website they also do uh, free customization so it would be a great gift they do coffee cups i think i mentioned it in my gift guide as well um but yeah a little personalized gift would be a really nice one i received this as a gift and yeah, I just absolutely love it. Such a favorite. Now, the next favorite I wanted to mention are, of course, my orderly products. The reason I created them is because I there was a need that I need to fill and I have filled it and I use these products every single day. So I have my felt organizer. I have the cord 
organizer as well which really keeps my bag neat and tidy it's just got the little button there and then also my dust bag so I purchased this bag it arrived yesterday I filmed a video on it as well if you want to see the unboxing but it's a vintage Gucci bag and because they don't come with dust bags I go ahead and use one of my orderly ones so absolutely love um, my organizers the cord clamp and the dust bags I use them for all of my bags and I am currently having a 25% off sale store wide. So sorry for the little plug there, but I can't not mention it. I don't, I haven't had a sale before and 25% off brings some of the dust bags are like down to $15. So I will link that below. Moving on, we have some peppermint tea. I love peppermint tea. I use the tea bags every single day. And when I was last at the shops, I thought, you know what? I'm going to pop into T2 and get some loose leaf peppermint tea because seeing as I have it all the time it would be nice to have like the real thing and it came in this beautiful little tin I don't know if it's Christmas theme because it's got like it must be um and it's just really cute love the little tin and I just use like a little strainer from Ikea so Ryan and I finish the night pretty much every single night having a peppermint tea and it's like our new little ritual we absolutely love it um, the next thing is my glass house candle. So I opened this up in my gift guide and I've been using the Taha one every single night. This one is the night before Christmas. It's the Dancing Sugar Plums. And the reason why I included this one in a favorite, sorry, it's taking ages to focus, is because I think I just um, have a new appreciation for glass house candles. They've always been around. I've always loved them. But since purchasing um, these ones recently, I've just really it made me think you know what throughout the year i'm better off just investing in some really good quality candles so i had to include these i won't be lighting this one in particular until we decorate our christmas tree but my other christmas one is being lit every night and i absolutely love it sticking with the theme of home fragrance i purchased these little dust diffusers it was 40 dollars for a three pack they have all different scents and I have one of these on the front table and one in each bathroom. They are beautiful. So I definitely think that throughout the year, I am going to head into dusk and purchase these again because they work. Like I find with reed diffusers, it's hard to find ones that actually fill the room with scent and these ones do the job. So don't sleep on dusk. I feel like everyone, dusk has always been there, but no one really shops there. But if you are looking for some nice home fragrance, I think these reed diffusers are a really great buy and definitely would be a nice gift for Chrissy as well. Bit of a random favorite, but I had to mention these little mesh pouches. I purchased these from eBay. I will link them below. Um, in particular, I use the smallest one a lot for handbag organization. I use this one as just a little bit of a catch-all whenever I'm traveling and it's come in handy. But I had to mention them because I, when I was preparing for this video, I basically walked around the house, looked in my wardrobe, looked in my beauty cabinet, and I was just picking out the things that I often reach for. And these ones are definitely something that I use pretty much every day. This is great for holding all your, your lip balms and um, hand sanitizer and everything in your bag. And then, like I said, this is just a great little general um, catch-all and they have all different sizes and they're so cheap I'm pretty sure you can get them for like maybe six dollars maybe even less so I'll link these below I thought they were great could be a nice little stocking filler and the last thing that I wanted to mention in the lifestyle category is this little notepad and I purchased it from Kmart this is my second one and I use it every single day I would almost go as far as to say that I use this more than my actual planner so this basically has a schedule priorities um, and where you can list where you what you're grateful for But this is like what I use every single day as my daily to-do list So I'll write down my to-do list priorities I'll write down the list of things that like I cannot end the day without getting those done and It's just one of those things that has become part of my everyday routine I don't think I could live without it now update on the notion planner I'm still trying to navigate my way around it. I don't use it as often as I would like to um, but yeah, I will try and use it in 2024. It's great for work, but in terms of my personal life, I feel like I just like handwriting things. So the whole A5 planner um, along with this is perfect for me when it comes to keeping my life organized. There you have it. They are my 2023 favorites. If you made it to the end of this video, leave in the comments maybe 
like a little Christmas tree emoji or something. I would love to know how many of you actually watch until the end. That is true dedication and I appreciate you so much. And thank you so much to Linya for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love their pieces. We all know that jewelry is such a beautiful gift idea. So make sure you take a look at their website, check out their amazing sales. If I was to choose my like top three linear items over the past couple of years of wearing them it would definitely be these gold pearl earrings i will link them below this little travel case because i don't have anything like it currently and probably this ring because i just i honestly don't take it off it's the little gold pave ring with the lab grown diamonds i also really love this silver one stacked with it so they would be my top three items if you're kind of stuck on what to get someone for christmas and again thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel it helps me out more than you know and i'll catch you all in my next one bye guys <laughs>